Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about sidewall symmetry, especially in our two-channel setups. We have that two types of energy that we have to be concerned with with two-channel. We have the direct, the straight-line energy from our speakers, but we also have that reflected energy, right, off the sidewalls. So we have the two types, direct and the reflected. Now, that primary reflection, which we're all familiar with and we've all heard about, that's critical. But we also have the secondary and the tertiary, as you can see, you know, in this graphic here. That sidewall distance, we have to have balance. We have to have symmetry. If we're three feet from the right channel, and we're, we have to be three feet from the left channel. I see a lot of situations where we have right channel wall, sidewall, but we have no left channel wall. You can't have that. Because the distance that reflection travels on the left with no wall versus the distance it travels on the right, that creates a phase issue. Remember, the first thing in acoustics is to do no harm. We're trying to get a 3D kind of audible perspective out of our two speakers, which to this day, after 40 plus years, I, I just find amazing still. I think that's what gets me up in the morning half the time, keeps me going. So we, we're just using two speakers that are recorded with different mics and distances. Most music, especially in the live part of it, it's two, two microphones, different distances. So by definition, we have delays occurring. We have to be very careful when we play that back into our systems that we subscribe to certain rules, okay? So we have to be very, very careful. We must respect the distances and the reflected signals, the, the sidewall uh, situation. So the distance allows for predictability and consistency when we're setting up that central image. Obviously, the wider the room, the bigger the distances, the broader the, the sound stage can be. But we start with, you know, a male model voice. That's how our, we focus and set up, and then we work our way out from that point. And in order to achieve a strong center focus and get that 3D perspective, we have to have symmetry in our sidewall distances. I like to see symmetry, symmetry in the construction methodology also of the walls. That can play a big factor too. We got to balance the direct versus reflected energy. We have to manage the time signatures of those sidewall reflections too. And that takes rate and level. And you can see our absorption curves for our foam technology, which is a common technology that we use for managing reflections, okay? Predictability and consistency. I almost tell people, it's better to do the wrong thing on both the left wall and the right wall if you're going to do it. It's just having unequal distances is really problematic when it comes to two channel. It's almost a no for me. Uh, when I see rooms come through on our room form and I don't see a left wall or a right side wall, we have to build one. We have to create one. And we can do that with our panels, our carbon panel, our ACDA series. They're all on casters. So they can be moved into place to create that wall. But symmetry and balance in that sidewall, distance and hopefully construction methodology is very important. Rate and level of absorption. Not all absorption products are created equal. Our foam technology took me eight years, $2 million to create. I chased after this with a vengeance. And you can go on our website and see our absorption curves for the foam. You can see the absorption curves for two of our competitors also. Just look at the difference. Look at the smoothness in the transition and the rate. That's the key for music and voice because our ears are really sensitive to music and really sensitive to voice because that's what we use to communicate. Subtle timbre and tonal differences are easily reflected, but overabsorbed, they get destroyed. The harmonic structure gets destroyed. Our foam won't do that for you. It'll provide the necessary absorption rates and levels to minimize the impact between the direct and the reflected energy. Sidewall symmetry, very, very important with two channel setups. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. 
And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.